Hey folks, uh, this is our second part for our Unit 3 test. So hopefully you saw the first part because it'll get you ready for your upcoming test. Very similar questions. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and solve this guy, okay? So we'll do one at a time right here. We'll talk about this one in just a second. So here we're going to go ahead and let, um, uh, it's already factored. Well, we don't know the word factor yet. Well, maybe some of you do, but but we set this equal to zero, this equal to zero, and this equal to zero because the zero product property says if something times something times something, and there's nothing in between those, so those means times or multiply, it means uh, that each one of those guys equals zero. Okay, well, negative four doesn't equal zero, so we can disregard that. Here we're going to go plus six, plus six, plus eight, plus eight on that guy. Okay, so we get to that, and then get x equals 6 or 5x equals 8. We still got to divide both sides by 5 on that so we get uh, so our answers are going to be 6 or 8 fifths on that. Okay, real common students want to do 5 eighths. Okay, we divide it by 5 so the 5 goes on the bottom. All right, okay, this one here you guys. Now this helped when I talked about this in my in my integrated math 2 classes. Remember doing this the distributive property, you guys, 3 times 4x plus 3 times 7. That's what this says right here. We get 12x plus 7. Well, if we go backwards, you guys, then that means this 3 times 4x plus 3 times 7, it came from 3 times 4x plus 7. So we're using the distributive property in reverse right here. Here, these 3s right here are these x minus 9s. See how the x minus 9s are repeating? So if we pull out the 1 of them right there, and then uh, of the other guys, here's the 4x, here's the 7 right here. So let's pull out the, the x minus 9s right there, and we're left this, with this 4 minus 5x right there. Okay, these two x minus 9s are like this 3 right here. This 3 came out right here, so it came out as 1x minus 9. All right, so we set that equal to 0 and set that factor equal to 0. So here we go, plus 9, plus 9. On this one, I'm going to go plus 5x, plus 5x. I'd rather have a positive x term instead of a negative x term because uh, kids forget about the negatives there. All right, so the 9s cancel here. The 5x's cancel here. Don't forget, we got to still divide both sides by 5, so we get uh, 9 or 4 fifths, okay? Not 5 fourths, 4 fifths, because we divide it by 5. 5 goes on the bottom, all right? All right, so Jaden is competing in a diving contest. His height and feet above the water is modeled by uh, the function here. So, so this is our height. We should have put h of x for height, but uh, just like your test, it says f of x, okay? Um, you have one just like this, okay, where x is the time in seconds after he jumps uh, from the diving board, okay? So how long is he in the air, okay? So so um, uh, they gave us a picture right here. So here's a picture. So the picture, um, given this picture right here, here's Jaden. He goes, remember, he dives up and then comes back down. Down here is the time in seconds. So he's in the air. It looks like from this graph, he's in the air for two seconds right there. Okay, what's his maximum height? Okay, well, his maximum height is not there because, look, it looks it goes up a little bit because Jaden jumps up. Okay, so his maximum height is right there. We need to find the vertex. Okay, so we need to find HK. It's floating around there somewhere. This is A, this is B, this is C. So we can find H, and then K is our, our height, you guys. So we've got to find X first and then plug it into this equation right here. So X equals uh, negative B or opposite B, so negative 8 over uh, 2 times negative 16. Okay, so we get negative 8 over negative 32, which is a positive 1 fourth. Okay, that's H. We need to figure out K for the height. So we plug in 1 fourth right there. Uh, right here, 1 fourth, and then 1 fourth right there. That's what this is. 1 squared is 1, 4 squared is 16, so this converts to 1 16th right there. All right, let me slide that up right there. All right, so the negative 16 and 16 cancels out to negative 1. 4 goes into 8 2 times, so we get negative 1 uh, plus 2 plus 48, so it's 49. So answer the question. Don't just say 49. I uh, will take some points off if you just say 49. It's 49 feet was his maximum height, okay? Always answer uh, in the context of the question right there, okay? So Johnny throws a rock in the air, and it's modeled by uh, this uh, h of t, so that represents our height. 
of negative 16t times t minus 6, where uh, t is the seconds after the rock is released from his hand, and h is the height right there. Okay, so how long is the rock in the air? Okay, so here's the rock. Johnny goes, throws it up, comes back down. And then so when it comes back down, that's when the height is 0. So we're going to set this equal to 0 and then use our zero product property, okay? So by the zero product property, we set this factor, e factor equal to 0 and set that guy equal to 0. Okay, 16 times 0 equals 0. Same with negative 16 times 0 equals 0. So that's before he threw it. It was at height 0. So time equals 0 is when before he threw it. And then after, what, six seconds? Always oh, answer the question. So it's uh, after six seconds. The, that's how long that uh, rock was in the air. What's the maximum height uh, the rock travels? Okay, well, if it goes for six seconds, so here it goes. goes up, 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 up. And then right there is the maximum height. Then it goes down. And here's six seconds right here. So the maximum height is halfway between. So it's at three seconds, okay? So we plug in 3 right there and right there. So negative 16 times 3 is a negative 48. Negative 48 times this negative 3 is 144. Again, answer the question. The rock goes 140 feet, 144 feet uh, high right there. Okay. All right, so let's graph these guys. Okay, so here's a quadratic function right here. When it's in this form, we've got to do x equals opposite b over 2a. Here's a, here's b, here's c. So it's negative 18 over 2 times negative 3. So that's going to get me negative 18 over negative 6, which is positive 3. Okay, now we need to find y. So let's plug in 3 in 4 right there and right there. Okay, 3 squared is 9. Let's do that first. Exponents come first, okay? And then negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. This becomes plus 54, and then 54 minus 21. Okay, negative 27 plus 54 is positive 27. So 27 minus 21, what's that? That's 6 right there. So the vertex is at 3, 6. There it is. It's going down because that's negative. It's going down 3 times 1 squared, 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 3 squared, 3 times 4 squared. This number times 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and it's going down because it's negative. Okay, so we go over 1, it goes down 3. We go over 2, it goes down 12 because that's what this is right there on both sides. So there's our awesome looking parabola right there. All right, so let's graph this guy. Okay, so here, this is called intercept form. We'll talk about this in the next module. So we set those factors equal to zero, and that gives us where the graph crosses the x-axis. The graph crosses the x-axis when this equals zero and this equals zero. So minus 1, minus 1, plus 3, plus 3. So we get um, uh, negative 1 and 3. Okay, this graph is going down, so that means the vertex is up here somewhere. Where up here? Well, the axis of symmetry is right in the middle, so the axis of symmetry is at x equals 1 right there. Okay, so we know it's 1, so uh, 1 comma what? Where is it up here? So we plug in 1 right here, 1 plus 1, and then 1 minus 3 right there, okay? So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Don't forget we got a negative out here, so that all comes out to 4. So the vertex is up there at uh, uh, 1 comma 4. So over 1, down 1 squared. Over 2, down 2 squared. Over 3, down 3 squared. So if I go over 3, it goes down 9. Okay, so there's our groovy parabola right there. Don't forget about uh, part one review that's right right next to this one here and good luck you guys I hope you guys do fantastic take care